What's going on guys? Alex with the Game Changers here. Today we are speed painting a Pokemon Trainer Amiibo. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, like, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. This is a brand new Pokemon Trainer Amiibo that I just got from Target. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. I love the new detail on it. To me, it is absolutely worth the extra few dollars that Nintendo is asking. You'll need some supplies. We have a box cutter. You can also use an X-Acto blade. We have an assortment of paint brushes. We have some acrylic paint, a paint palette, and some water. These are the things you will need to make this custom amiibo if you so wanted to do it yourself. So, do you see this hinge here? This is what we're gonna cut and open the amiibo up. And this, to me, is the best way to open amiibo. It keeps everything pretty clean and it makes it super easy to pop the amiibo out and close it back up if you want to. So here is the amiibo. Like I said, the detail is absolutely amazing. Uh, just the pants alone look amazing. The hair looks great. So I really like this amiibo. I'll definitely be getting another one for my personal collection. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your favorite amiibo has been. Uh, if you collect all of the Super Smash Brothers amiibo like we do, we are huge fans of the game. We play almost every day, and I play with my son, which is super fun. He's really pretty good at it. So what we're going to do right away is paint the hat and the backpack. So I have opened my Model Master acrylic paint, uh, white and black, semi-gloss black and flat white specifically. And I've mixed them so they're not quite gray and not quite black. Somewhere in the middle there. And we're just going to lay on a really thin layer. I usually use a primer, but I managed to forget it at home today. I'm painting elsewhere, which I kind of like to do because sitting at my desk at home all the time painting is a little bit tedious to me. So I really enjoy uh, setting up and painting kind of anywhere and everywhere. It's just something that I personally enjoy. I'm laying down my first layer on the backpack, being generally pretty careful. So I'm doing my best to cover all of those areas so that I don't have to remake this color because doing that can be pretty tedious and difficult. Next, we are going to make the skin tone, and I managed to match the color pretty quickly. I was pretty happy with it. So what you want to do is you want to lay down in small doses because you don't want the paint to chip and you really want a smooth layer. So you can do that by thinning your paint out uh, using a little bit of water or a specific paint thinner that's made by the same brand as your paint. Most acrylic paint brands, I believe, make something like that. So, as you can see, I'm just doing the arms. I'm making sure to get every angle. And um, this uh, Acrylicos Vallejo brand has a slight darkening. So, it's lighter than the image reference, but I'm confident that it darkens just a tiny bit. So, it'll match really nicely. If you want to pick up and do this, Feel free to ask us any questions in the comments. We read all of them and we're so excited to interact with you guys. So if you have any questions, if you feel inspired to pick up a paintbrush or an Amiibo or even say like a McDonald's toy or a pop figure, just let us know in the comments if you have any questions. If you're having any struggles, we'd be happy to help you any way that we can. Next, we are gonna create a blue for his jacket. And as I was doing this, I found that I was a little too far away with the paint that I made to accomplish the color that I wanted. So I kind of just started over, which is pretty okay. I don't feel bad about that. 
Uh, getting the color I want is the most important thing. Wasting a small amount of paint isn't a big deal. So don't feel discouraged if you do that. Um, be willing to start over. And even if you paint over and it looks, you know, not the way that you like, don't be afraid to make a new color and just paint over your first effort. I do it all the time. It's necessary. And just don't get discouraged. Just find what makes you happy with the figure and just keep going. So they have these lines on the backpack. So I'm just going to rough those in real quick and I'm probably going to come back with another layer and at least some of that um, blackish gray color to uh, clean those lines up. And same with these shoes, I'm just going to rough in those colors. I'm not worrying too much about staying in the lines that I want because I know the pants are going to get colored and the shoes are going to get colored further. So I'm just kind of roughing it in. Same with the jacket actually. I'm not staying in the lines because if I was really super careful like that, it would slow everything up. So if I know that another color is going to go on top of it, I don't worry too much. Uh, the only difficulty is when you have a lighter color going on top of a darker color. So it is uh, advisable, in my opinion, to start with lighter colors and go darker. Uh, I probably should have done that. Started with the white and gone to the blue on the jacket, but um, on this, we just moved on to the pants. And again, I was able to get that gray color. I think it just looks really nice. So I'm laying that down. Uh, if it dries and I wanted to change it up a little bit, it's easy to do that. If I wanted to add some shading, it's easy to do that. Uh, right now I'm just getting that base layer in. So again, we really value your input guys. If you have any opinions about custom Amiibo, definitely let us know what other ones you'd like to see. Our next video, if you want a little preview, is going to be a Pichu. Uh, I've already recorded that video. I'm just going to be finishing up editing it. And I'm really looking forward to making that uh, a wonderful video for you guys. Uh, I had a lot of fun customizing that. It's into a Pokemon I hope most of you will recognize. It is not a Pichu color all, but I'll leave that as a surprise. So I hope you'll look forward to that. And that'll be out within a week. The next thing I did was I painted with a little bit of red and a little bit of black, made a darker red to paint his hat rim, and then I painted his armbands, his wristbands, and wasn't too big a fan of the wristband color, so I laid the dark color down and then I came back with a brighter red. Uh, I think it looked way better when I did that, so uh, I kept with that and made another uh, layer at least. So. We're going to re revisit all of these colors as we go. As you can see, we're doing the white now. I'm being more liberal with the white color because it can be difficult to cover up darker colors like I mentioned. So I'm willing to put a little bit more paint on than I usually do with other colors. But again, be patient and be willing to do multiple layers. That's really important, everybody. So I'm doing the rim of his jacket. I'm not all that concerned with doing straight lines because we can accomplish those lines by going back over with some blue and a little bit of that gray on the pants if we make some mistakes. We're just gonna go back and forth with our colors and make sure we have the cleanest looking figure that we can. So I'm going to lay down another layer of blue onto the shoes and onto the jacket. And at this point I totally realized that I did not paint the sleeves blue. So I'm working on that. I'm also laying another layer down on the jacket to clean up that white that I just put down. Here's another. Another layer of red. Uh, the reason we do multiple layers is for vibrance. We really want the colors to pop out and be more intense than the original color was.
So here's where I realized that I forgot to do the sleeves. So I'm going back in there, I'm gonna have to catch up and do multiple layers here. That was a big mistake. It's really important to keep a detailed look at your image reference if that's what you're doing. I totally overlooked this somehow. So I'm catching up right here. But there is our figure guys. This is really close to done. I did uh, skip a few steps towards the end of this video so you wouldn't have to see some of the nonsense that is just like, you know, filler in my opinion. Another big tip is be sure to make your paint brushes work for you. So use smaller brushes for the more intricate details and the bigger brushes for larger spaces. And don't be afraid to make your own brushes. So if you have a thin brush but it's not quite thin enough, feel free to take some scissors to it. I do it all the time. It's really useful for things like eyes and facial features and things like small details. Uh, it's really a useful uh, technique to do. Here's our final custom amiibo. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, like, and let us know what you thought in the comments. We're really making a push towards a thousand subscribers. We want YouTube to be a new home for us, and we're making a lot of content all the time just for you guys. Like I said, the next one is going to be a Pichu, and that should be out sometime next week. Until next time, thanks so much. I've been Alex with the Game Changers. Take care, everyone.